What's up YouTube? Brian here back again with another rod review. Today we are looking at a gem of a rod and it is the Mega Bass Orochi Double X Whip Snake. Oh great, another spinning rod. I'm sure you guys are all really excited. Sorry I have to do this. I, I think this is a rod that really deserves its own quick review. I know there's a lot of people shopping for these now, especially in the Levante line. So I'm going to talk real quick about the Whip Snake, what it's great at, um, what I like using it for, all these kinds of things. So first off, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm posting a lot of content there, um, a lot of stuff about shopping, stock alerts, things you can buy, discounts, codes, um, some quick tackle reviews. I'm posting, I'm posting catch videos. So if you want to see me um, actually catching some fish with some of this equipment, you got to check me out on Instagram. It is at Punch Fishing. So please give me a like and a follow there. I would appreciate it. Now let's jump into this rod. I have had this whip snake. Um, for I think two seasons now, maybe three, I forget exactly when I got it, but I did get this on the aftermarket. I bought it used for about mm, 200, 220 bucks, something like that. So I was really excited. That was back in the old days when you could get, uh, Orochi double uh, X used rods for like 200 bucks. Can't do that nowadays because these are, these rods are really hard to find. Uh, Mega Bass has had a hard time getting these to stores and kind of restocking on these things. So when they pop up for sale, they're like, they fly out the door right away. And people are actually getting like 240 to almost basically retail uh, for these rods. So I'm used aftermarket. So it's kind of crazy out there. But the nice thing is, is there is a Levante version of this rod that is way easier to find. It is only 200 bucks um, and is essentially the exact same rod as this one. So if you're shopping for the Levante Whip Snake, this review basically applies to the Levante version. So that being said, first off, I want to talk about the aesthetics of this rod because if, in my personal opinion, the Mega Bass Orochi XX spinning rods are some of the most beautiful spinning rods ever made. Like even counting, I like these better than the Destroyers. I like these better than the P5s. I like, this is literally some of the nicest, most beautiful spinning rods people have ever made. I mean, this is just, this is Mega Bass at their finest. Um, if you haven't actually gotten one of these uh, Orochi XX spinning rods in your hands, you can't really fully appreciate it, but the first off, the fit and finish on this thing is immaculate and it's beautiful. Um, you got a kind of an unfinished blank up at the top, but then you get into this um, really, really beautiful cross pattern. Um, Mega Bass has a, a name for this technology. I think it's called KBT. I don't remember what they call this stuff, but it just looks amazing. So you got this really cool cross stitch, uh, perfectly I don't know, diamond pattern going down the blank from here to here. You got amazing accents down through the handle. You get um, really beautiful uh, threading here, but then you get these metal, these really beautiful metal, metal silver pieces right here. Then you get metal accents like shiny um, stainless steel accents right here. And then you get them down through the butt as well. Overall fit and finish wise, this rod is just gorgeous. And, and also, also, it's got one of the best handles of all time. Mega Bass screwed up when they got rid of this handle design and went to the little bumpy handle on the P5s. This is one of the best spinning rod handles ever made. And Mega Bass got rid of it. I don't understand why, I think they're nuts. You can get this handle still on the Orochi and you can get this handle on the Levante, but now with the Destroyer P5 line, they moved away from this, which was a major mistake in my, my opinion. Uh, my hand fits perfectly on this grip. I like to choke up as you, as you might know from watching my videos, but even if you don't choke up and you go down here, um, or if you choke up like I do, you just get this whole cork grip to, to get your hands on. You're not ever really countering the blank when you're touching this rod. Same thing on the other, like the shaky head and the enforcer. This is just literally one of the best configurations um, any spinning rod manufacturer has ever done. So shout outs to Mega Bass on this. If you haven't gotten a chance to get your hands on a Orochi double X spinning rod and you're a spinning rod fan, these things are nice. So let's talk about balance real quick. This is running a Tatula LT3000, which is a lightweight reel in my opinion, and it balances dead nuts perfect right at the top of the grip. To me, that's a perfect place to balance, and that's balancing with a lightweight reel. So you can throw pretty much any like um, Vanford or any kind of like any other lightweight spinning reel is gonna feel awesome on the uh, Whip Snake. Now this rod itself is a 611 F3. Now if you don't know what F3 is, F3 is basically a medium power to trending to medium light. Um, I think Meg Bass lists this rod as a light power rod, which I don't, it's, it's more of a medium trending to medium light, but more of a medium. So now this is a 611, which means it's a little shorter, but the action on this rod is fantastic. So 
I've already talked about the fit and finish, which is like 10 out of 10. I've talked about the grip, which is like 10 out of 10. I've talked about the balance, which is like 10 out of 10. So, so far this rod is like aces. Oh, also you get a, you get a plastic keeper. Unlike the destroyer and the P5 rods, they did tuck a little plastic keeper down here at the bottom, which is great. Oh, guides, this runs stainless steel SIC guides, which are like tanks. Uh, I love stainless steel SIC guides. Um, you get them from tons of rods nowadays. I mean, even the Poison Adrenas run SIC titanium, I'm sorry, SIC um, stainless steel. The nice thing about stainless steel guides is they're extremely rigid. They're really, really hard to bend. So you can kind of step on these and beat these things up and they don't really get out of whack like a titanium guide. Um, titanium guides bend and move really easily if you accidentally like hit it on something or step on something. Stainless steel guides, I think, are the most durable. Um, so that's in the plus department. Now, let's talk about the action real quick on this rod. Uh, the thing that makes the whip snake unique and why they call it a whip snake is it because this thing has a really deep parabolic action that goes down through the middle of the rod and it doesn't shut off up high in the blank like a lot of medium power rods do. So if we look, this thing has a very nice soft tip, right? But it also, that, that bend travels down to the first third of the blank and right into the middle of the blank and it doesn't shut off until the back half or the back third of the rod. So this is a really, really nice deep bend into this rod. Now that makes this thing really good as a drop shot rod. Uh, you can drop shot this thing up until, let's see, it's, I think it's rated up to 3A. So um, I drop shot a quarter ounce most of the time with this rod. So anything, if you if you drop shot from quarter and under, this thing is going to do well. I've tried 3 a on this thing and it's a little overpowered. I would say that this is not a good drop shotting heavier weights like a 3 a If you need to, you can do it. It's not going to not be able to do it, but its sweet spot is definitely quarter ounce and lower. Um, especially for like Texas rigging, drop shot baits, and nose hooking baits, it, it can do it both fine. This is also a really fantastic Ned rig, Ned rig rod because of that softer action in the blank. You can throw really light Ned rigs with this thing and it, and it does really well. Um, you can throw wacky Senkos with this rod. It's not the most powerful rod like a regular seven foot medium like the X-Pride or, or like the Windbuster or some of those other rods. But if you need to throw a wacky Senko, especially even like a four inch Senko, this thing is going to be great. Um, also, this rod is really excellent for throwing jerk baits. So if you want to throw Vision 110s or even smaller jerk baits that you can't really throw on a casting setup, especially if you're not into like the BFS thing or whatever, it's a fantastic jerk bait rod because of the because of that parabolic action to blink. You can really load up and bomb a jerk bait out there. So if you're throwing light jerk baits, even like light crank baits, like balsa baits, like a, sh a wrap, a shad wrap or like a DT, any of those like lighter weight crankbaits, this is definitely the rod to go with. Um, 110 to smaller jerkbaits, this is the rod to go with. Anything you need to throw that, you, like anything you need a BFS setup for, this can do it. This is also a totally capable trout rod. So if you're going spinning, sorry, if you're going, uh, if you're gonna go river wading and you're gonna throw light baits, for like river or creek smallmouth, creek trout, that kind of stuff, this rod can definitely do it. It is not too stiff for some of those like inline spinners or like small paddle tail swim baits, that kind of stuff. So it's just a really good medium to medium light power, all purpose spinning rod. So sensitivity wise, I will say that this rod is not like knockout crazy NRX level sensitivity. Gotta remember this is like a $290 price point rod and it's right in that pocket. So it's, I wouldn't say it's like, it's not Conquest, NRX, um, Destroyer, Adermine level sensitivity, but it is really sensitive. You're not gonna miss fish. Um, bottom contact applications, you can feel everything. It's, it, this whole package though, when you kind of put the whole thing together with the fit and finish, the grip, the balance, the range of things you can do with this rod, it's just, this This rod is a gem, it's a knockout, it's a winner. It's, it's one of the best spinning rods probably ever made. It's one of the best spinning rods that Mega Bass has ever done. Um, and that's why it's still continuing on in the Levante line. So you can get these. They're a little hard to find in the Orochi si series, but you can get these in the Levantes. Um, our buddies at Tackle Trap, they get these. The, they get the Orochi version in and they get the Levante version in. Omnia also just recently started stocking Mega Bass rods. So set up alerts on Omnia's website for when they might get the Whip Snakes in in the Orochi or in the Levante. But either way, um, if you need kind of a one spinning rod to do a whole bunch of stuff, including throwing hard baits, crank baits, Ned rigs, drop shot, 
um, even Senkos, even like lighter shaky heads, uh, just basically all around ATV of spinning rods. You cannot go wrong with this beauty here, the Mega Bass Whip Snake. So um, until the next review, uh, I have nothing more to say about this ride. If you got any questions, please leave it in the comments down in this video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video, which is going to be coming very soon. Got some unboxings, and I got way more rods to review coming up. So until next time, we'll see you then.